Hi everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates where I have a special treat for you today, apple pie cookie. And when I say a special treat, we're gonna use four ingredients, okay? So come along with me as we walk through making apple pie cookies. Okay, the first ingredient that we're gonna be working with is the pie crust. Now these are pre-made pie crusts that are refrigerated and they usually come in a pack of two. Now, just so you know, you can use your homemade pie crust if you want for this recipe. It's not a problem at all. So what I'm gonna do, now if you do have the refrigerated pie crust, you wanna pull them out of your refrigerator 10 minutes before you wanna use them. And that'll help you be able to unpeel the dough here. All right, I'm just gonna put a little bit of flour on my work surface here. Just make sure it's clean. Move it over. Now what I wanna do is just kind of roll this out just about double its size. So we're about a quarter of an inch. That way we can get more out of it. Okay, then what you want to do is get a round edge of a glass and then you're going to put it on your dough. We're going to twist it to get a circle here. Just like that. Now I'm going to place these on my baking sheet that has some parchment paper on it. Okay, now each circle is about three and a half inches wide. But you can use any size you want. These are gonna be your little apple pie cookies. <laughs> How fun is this? And we just got started. And then what you can do is roll your dough out again to get any more of them off of there that you want. If you want to use like a pastry scraper, that really helps you get this off of your counter. Okay, our second ingredient is apple pie filling. Now, these have like sliced apples in here. So what I'm gonna do is chop these up really fine. Now, if you're using your own apple pie filling, you can certainly do that. Probably gonna use about half a can here. Then I'm just gonna take a knife and dice these up. We're gonna see what this does right here. If we need to add more, we'll just chop up some more. Now what I'm using is just a one inch cookie scoop here, no bigger than this. You can even use like a tablespoon, okay? And so I'm just going to fill it up like that. And then I'm gonna place it into the center of each pie circle. Just like that. Now, keep some edges around your pie filling. Can you imagine all the different flavors you can use for these to make different pies? You can do like cherry, blueberry, peach, pumpkin, whatever your heart desires, whatever pie filling you can find too. Now I do want to tell you that I am using a 28 ounce size can of pie filling here for your information. All right, now what we're gonna do is get our other pie crust ready to put on top of these. Okay, so I'm gonna take my second pie crust here. Sprinkle some more flour on my work surface very lightly. You don't have to like really pour the flour on, okay? Okay, 
Okay, we're gonna unroll it. All right, what I'm gonna do is just use a pastry scraper here and I'm just going to cut strips. About a quarter of an inch like that there. Now make sure your strips are very thin. We're gonna create just a small lattice on top of our pie. Okay, so I've got all of my strips cut. Now what I'm gonna do is just take and take off the edges. Kind of get more of a flatter look here. And then I'm gonna do it on the back side back here. Get all that out of the way. All right. Now I know that my pie rounds are three and a half inches, so I'm just going to measure this. So three and a half and three and a half. like that and then I'm going to do another three and a half inches right there. Doesn't have to be too perfect because we're going to cut off anything that we don't need. Okay now what we're going to do is start building our lattice work on top of our little pies. Okay as you can see I've done the first one right here so you're just going to Take a spoon first and just kind of flatten out your apples. And then you're going to lay your first strip. And then just kind of pinch it onto the dough. And the last one. So you're just going to need four for each pie. There you go. Guys, take these to somebody. Oh my gosh, take these to your Thanksgiving. Man, these will go quick. They are so cute and they give you all the apple pie flavor that you love in a big apple pie. But how fun are those? Okay, let me finish the rest of these and then I'm gonna bring you right back. Okay, look at those. Oh, don't they look cute? Okay, let's gonna put some wash on here. Now, I'm using milk, or you can even use an egg and you can beat it up with a little bit of water or a little bit of cream and put that on there. I'm just gonna use some milk today, especially on the edges of the pie crust. All right, I've got some white granulated sugar. And what I'm gonna do is sprinkle some on the top of each cookie here. It's fall, y'all. Oh yeah. I've got the apples covered for you. <laughs> Go check out my description box down below and look up It's Fall Y'all or look up my apple recipes playlist. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on here. Now you can also sprinkle a little nutmeg on there if you want, whatever you want. Let's get the right one on there. Okay. Whoop. That was mine. <laughs> Thomas loves his cinnamon, let me tell you. You can go ahead and like douse a few more. <laughs> He's already got the pick of them already, don't you? Of course. Okay, y'all. Woo! There we go. 
Okay, I'm ready to place these in my oven at 350 degrees for about 20 to 30 minutes. You're looking for these to become nice and golden brown and fully cooked through. Okay, I'll be back. Here they are, you guys. These things cook faster, they cool faster, and you can eat them faster than making a full-blown apple pie. Look how cute these are. You can bring these for your Thanksgiving, for potlucks. Heck, just make them for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> those two rolls right there that I used of that dough made 12 of these so yum okay let's give it a try okay so I kind of cut this in half look at that it's like a little cookie and you turn it over it's nice and golden brown on the back side and on the top side mmm mmm that dough is crispy mmm Mm, I love this. It's so delicious. So fun. Make this with your family. Mm. And just think about how many different flavors of pie filling you can use to make these. Okay, y'all. It's fall, y'all. Go check out the rest of my It's Fall, y'all playlist and my apple recipes down below in the description box. Thumbs up on this one, you guys. Okay, I will see you on my next episode.